hello friends welcome to csop space today in this video session we will discuss about uh, how to use a uh, uh, .NET connect for uh, uh, SQL server uh, and uh, we also discuss their risk features for uh, ADU .NET technologies uh, that we use in our .NET applications uh, that contains some uh, the most important features that uh, we can use in our edu.net application uh, like it uh, contain a, a wide range, uh, range of advantage for SQL servers uh, like a wide coverage SQL server features and uh, uh, this uh, also provide a toolbox for SQL server uh, data like this when we uh, download this uh, extension in our visual studio uh, this will provide this uh, set of tools in our toolbox so we can simply use this uh, by drag and drop in our applications and uh, like it's also provide uh, optimized code and uh, database application development extensions and uh, this uh, this can uh, use in both connected and uh, disconnected models and like it's a comp comprehensive support for uh, adio.net technologies features that can use all the features for that and here is the key features uh, that .net connect provide for sql server here is the different uh, features uh, for .net connect so uh, we can uh, you can simply download this from here for uh, 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 30 days trials and you can use in your application uh, this provide uh, both uh, free and uh, one is pro version for a 30 days trial so you can simply download this here and uh, uh, this will add um, application in your widget studio uh, that uh, version you use, uh, you use like uh, 2017 or 19 so now uh, we can uh, see this demo in uh, live on some uh, demo project here i already uh, create a one blank project for windows applications and this is the different tools uh, that will uh, so here after installing the this dotnet connect so this all this toolbox will uh, so here so we simply use uh, this in our this uh, demo application so Mm, first of all uh, we need to uh, connect um, database with our application so you can use this uh, in your uh, code level uh, on this uh, or you can simply uh, drag and drop to here so here i drop this uh, sql connection object Uh, now we can uh, configure this uh, SQL Connects uh, tool with our database. So I am here using uh, uh, one demo database for uh, this project. So we click on simply connect string, and here uh, we provide uh, our database names, user ID, passwords, and the different details that we need to provide. So here I am using a local database. So I am using this as the uh, Windows authentication. So this integrity will be true. And uh, here uh, we uh, we add our database name. So our database name will be copied to here and uh, our data source name and database name is uh, display will be here so i add my database name is here and then here i am choosing my uh, database name so c sharp space and then click on ok then we test uh, successfully connected then click on ok now save it now this uh, sql connection is connected so we can also uh, change their property to here it's also so different uh, here this will show the 
connection string that we configured now in next step like uh, uh, if you want to uh, display data from any tables so like simply i take a uh, sql data table so i drag and drop it here and then uh, we provide a connection string connection string is this so simply choose this sql connection and then you can uh, configure this data table from here or you can also uh, do these same things uh, dynamically at the code level so you need to add uh, uh, two namespaces for this or using uh, this extension uh, first is like uh, uh, using uh, day word day word dot data dot SQL server and the using or divert dot data so uh, uh, if you uh, use these two namespaces then all this uh, uh, all these tools is also uh, displaying here like uh, I'm go to this uh, uh, load function so you can simply write it here so this will write same things to here and like i also use sql data tables so this will also provide it here so firstly i demonstrate this example uh, with the design level so we configure this configure data table and uh, like here uh, we firstly uh, write a, a query you can write it here and this for uh, parameters you can use both text stroke process and uh, direct tables so this provide a different uh, features for this so and you can also specify their parameters to here and this for uh, command generators and this for update command here you can uh, generate the insert update and delete commands so we can uh, write here uh, a table name for fetching the record from that table so here i am writing a select command so select stroke from tbl imply here i am using a imply table for fetching the record so you can also check this query by clicking on this preview so this will fetch the record from database this contain a different columns from that tbl imply table on ok and then click on ok but so you can also check it here preview data and click on ok and now now we can uh, choose a data grid view for uh, testing the uh, different uh, data from that columns name so i'm going to data and then choose data grid view then go to this design here we set it uh, we can choose uh, we can fill the data from both like uh, at the code level or at uh, design level by choosing the data source to here like here we can choose data sources like uh, this showing a data table so simply select it and save it now uh, to fill the record into this data table uh, we use a uh, sql data adapter here i am demonstrating the disconnected model so you can use uh, connected also like this also provide a connected features is a uh, sql data reader like a sql command and you can use uh, that model also now uh, you can configure this uh, data adapter so i'm click on this configure data adapter and here you can uh, write a query to process or uh, direct tables so like here i'm again writing the query for finding the record so it's a tbl employee and click on preview this will 
and the data and then uh, choose ok uh, you can uh, also fill uh, the data set from directory from this uh, design so, so we can simply click on here data set wizard and then click next and then uh, configure that data set to fill that data into uh, that configured data set so here uh, so after that you can fill uh, click on this fill data set to fill that data to data set and then click on preview data to get the preview of that uh, data that present into the table so here i am fill the data into this uh, sql data table so simply i am going to this uh, page load and here i am writing a sql data adopter adopter dot fill and then uh, we write a SQL data table and then uh, we write this uh, data grid with dot data source and then uh, this data table uh, so now we run this application so this will uh, display all the records from uh, that table employee table now uh, we can now uh, check the other two tools that are provided by dotnet connect so this uh, also provide one most important uh, tools that uh, simplifies our development uh, that the sql script sql script we can uh, simply write uh, any uh, any command uh, command here to uh, directly execute that uh, script from our C support so we can write anything uh, any commands that you want to run on uh, runtime like uh, I am writing here uh, insert command or insert a record into this TPL employee and click on ok now we execute that script in our C sub code. So simply write it here script dot and this will provide a different uh, properties for this like uh, cancel connections, containers, dispose, execute, execute nets that the different features. So simply I am writing here execute. So we execute that uh, script. Now uh, we run this application. I think connections property is not initialized. Here we need to initialize the connections uh, properties for this uh, SQL script. So I am choosing this uh, connection. This is connection one. Now we again run this. Looks in much to be opens. We again check this. This showing a uh, uh, close connect open connections error. So we can simply open a connection here. Connection dot open, and then we can close these connections. Now we check this. So that uh, Zocam record is inserted. So uh, you can write any SQL queries or procedures to this this window, and you can also check this uh, command to here, and uh, you can also load the scripts from different files, and you can save this script to any files. So this will provide uh, more features to. Uh, uh, do the best performance of this uh, edu.net technology uh, this will provide uh, other tools like uh, uh, data link uh, here this allow the uh, stabilizing the flexible cross form data bindings from different data this for SQL connection that we, we used it here this for SQL command like uh, in edu.net that we use it so simply you can also drag it drop here and then uh, configure the connection string 
like this and then choose the common text and then you can use that uh, SQL command to any data adopters and any uh, like SQL data readers you can simply use it and this is data adapters that we use it here and this uh, SQL command builder uh, that uh, generate the uh, commands uh, like here in this provider tooltip generates command used to reconcile changes made to data set with the associated server database means you can uh, generate the insert update delete from that uh, tables for that servers and this is the sql monitors allow to monitor dynamic sql executions you can monitor the any dynamic sql query executions this for sql data set that we use it here this is the data tables here we use and uh, this the sql loaders the, here uh, this sql loaders like uh, you can uh, import the data from different uh, types of uh, data sources like uh, flat files csv excel uh, from that file to your in your sql server database and this uh, sql scripts that we use it here so this is the different tools and features that uh, uh, dev.net connect is provide for edu.net technologies so if you can if, if you like these tools you can simply uh, try to download it here and uh, you can embed this in your visual studio and check at your site so so today is uh, complete uh, so thanks thanks for watching and if you like my videos please click on subscribe buttons and for getting a latest updates also click on notification bell so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session